Hey there, Alistair Bradley here. I have been asked on several occasions how to properly get uh, a mix of different audio sources to feed into a Zoom meeting or uh, even a Skype meeting or Microsoft Teams. The thing to know is that uh, regardless of whether you have an audio interface on your computer, which uses two inputs or four inputs or eight or 16, it doesn't matter. The video communication applications, they only generally work with the first two channels. So if you're using uh, a two channel interface and you plug your microphone into the first interface, that's terrific. Your microphone will be fed into the Zoom meeting. I'll use Zoom as, this, as the standard here for uh, the online meetings, but the advice will probably apply equally well no matter what you're using for uh, your online meetings. The question comes then, well, what happens when I have more than one microphone that I want to use or more than one audio input that I want to use in my Zoom meeting? Let's say I'm co-writing with uh, another songwriter and I want them to hear my piano or my guitar or my instruments uh, along with my voice. And this is when you need to uh, work a little outside the box. You could just plug a second instrument into uh, input two of your interface and that'll work just fine. You'll have, you can have a microphone in input one, you can have uh, an instrument in input two and both of those will be shared into the Zoom meeting. Now know that if you're using stereo mode in the Zoom meeting, your microphone will be in one speaker and your instrument will be in the other for the other people in the meeting. Um, but there's but there's ways around that too. Um, ultimately, what you want to do is you want to look at the monitor mix control software that came with your audio interface. Uh, regardless of whether you're using a Focusrite or uh, an Audient or a UAD, most of these devices, most of these audio interfaces, they come with a piece of software that allows you to set up a mix of the different inputs along with the sound coming from your computer and set the mix that feeds your main speakers or your auxiliary speakers or your headphones and you can have a different blend of those inputs going to each of those outputs. Now this this uh, system I'm going to describe to you it only works if your system has multiple outputs. If you have a very simple interface that only has one set of speaker outputs like a monitor left and right, then this solution won't work for you, unfortunately. Uh, and we can talk about alternates after I discuss this, uh, this solution. But if you have an audio interface that has uh, outputs one and two that can go to your main speakers, and outputs three and four, or, or, or many, many outputs, um, you can take one of the auxiliary sets of outputs, you can create a mix that feeds to those outputs and then you can use patch cables to patch those outputs back into inputs one and two and i will demonstrate here with this is uh focused right control it's the software that comes with um the focus right claret series and the and the more recent uh, focus right scarlet series and it lets me set a balance of all the different input channels I'm using for each of the different outputs. So I can set for my monitor outputs, I can set a mix of the various audio sources, and I can set a different, here's the key, I can set a different mix to go to outputs three and four. In my case, I'm using outputs three and four as my fold back mix so that I physically patch with, with audio cables the outputs three and four, and I cable them back into inputs one and two, because remember it's inputs one and two that get fed into a Zoom meeting or a Skype meeting. So this way I can hear in my focus right control, I can set a mix of many sources. I can set, I can have my, my piano plugged in, I can have a guitar plugged in, and all of those sources will be blended with my microphone into a mix that gets fed back into inputs one and two. 
Now, obviously, this only works without feedback if you don't include inputs one and two in these mixes. So you'll notice input one and two are not part of the mix that gets sent back to my inputs one and two. And similarly, uh, even in my, my main mix that goes to my speakers, I don't generally have inputs one and two go into those as, uh, uh, either. I, I will just use the sources, my microphones, my keyboards, and I'll mix them appropriately for my speakers. When I have uh, the system patched this way, inputs one and two are dedicated, because I do a lot of Zoom meetings, they're dedicated for sending audio into a Zoom meeting. So this is the way to do it for this particular device, for a Focusrite uh, Scarlett. Uh, I think it was, I think it's the third generation Scarlett's that use this particular piece of software. Uh, or for the Focusrite Claret's. And there should be something similar to this for your device. Um, it has no, the, what, what I do here in the mixes has no bearing on what gets recorded when I use Pro Tools or Cubase or, or anything like that. Um, this is strictly setting monitor mixes for the different outputs of my device. So again, here in Focusrite Control, I can set the mix that I like to hear out of my speakers, and I can set a different mix for foldback that comes is physically patched back into inputs one and two. And I may or may not want to take uh, the playback from my computer and patch that into the Zoom meeting. If I'm playing back uh, audio from my computer, um, it will be heard in that mix, in this foldback mix, if I unmute the playback here in Focusrite Control. But also note that the other participants in your Zoom meeting, their voices come through this playback, this computer playback channel. So unless you're using um, uh, an online meeting tool with, with really good echo cancellation, Zoom is good for this, in fact. Um, you may run into troubles if you're feeding their voices back to them in your mix. So you can choose, you can play around with it, you can choose to either mute the sound of your computer. Most cases, you, you may not even need this, but if you happen to be using a DAW, uh, Pro Tools or Cubase, uh, Reaper, Audacity, and, and, you're and you're working on a song that you have in your DAW and you want to play back your results into the meeting, then you'll need to unmute this source in your foldback mix. I'm going to switch now over to uh, showing you another example because I happen to be able to demonstrate an example in Scarlet Mix Control, which is the other Focusrite monitoring software which works on some of the Scarlet devices. Um, it's, it's similar in concept. The purpose of Scarlet Mix Control is just like Focusrite Control. It's to set up the different mixes that feed the different outputs on your computer. So in the same way, I have tabs up the top here that show the different output mixes I can set up. I have a mix that feeds my speakers, and I can set up a secondary mix. In this case, it's called Q1, but you can name it whatever you like. Um, this can be named, I will rename it here to be Fullback. So that's, this, this will be the foldback mix. So I can mix my microphone and my keyboard and other inputs if I have other things plugged in. And I can feed them down here. Foldback left is going to line output three. Foldback right is going to line output four. And then I would physically cable outputs three and four to the inputs one and two on the front of my Scarlet device. And I'd make sure that I'm muting inputs one and two in the full back mix, and most likely in the mains mix as well. Here in Scarlet Mix Control, the playback that comes from your DAW, from Pro Tools, from Cubase, is here on this fader, on this DAW fader. So my full back mix, I can choose to have that set at a different level, 
or I can choose to mute it. And that's how to get around in Scarlet Mix Control. I hope that uh, you find this useful, and I hope that you can find the equivalent on yours, uh, whatever your device happens to be, whether it's um, a Focusrite device or from another manufacturer. I hope you can find the Mix Control software that will allow you to do this and set your own fallback mix for use into a Zoom meeting. And for those of you whose audio interface does not have uh, either multiple inputs or doesn't have multiple outputs to let you set up an auxiliary mix that, that folds back into inputs one and two, I would suggest uh, using a mixer, an audio mixer, uh, something that allows you to plug your different instruments and different microphones into the mixer and then take a stereo out from your mixer, plug those into inputs one and two on your audio interface, and you can use that as your stereo mix that goes to Zoom. Happy Zooming.